Hello, Nintendo Wii here, welcome back to Let's Play Retro Games. Last week I did a video about five great platformers for the Game Boy. This week I'm going to be doing another Game Boy video and I'm going to be showing you five great puzzle games. So let's get started. First up, a Pokemon version of a very long running puzzle game dating all the way back to the Super Nintendo. In fact, I have the first version right here. The original was called Panel de Pond. That then turned into a Nintendo version called Tetris Attack, which replaced all the anime characters with Nintendo characters. And then, obviously, the Pokemon craze hit, so we got Pokemon Puzzle Challenge, and the N64 counterpart, Pokemon Puzzle League. The Game Boy Color game is a great addition to the N64 game. Obviously, they both play more or less the same, but the Game Boy Color one actually has a full story mode to go with it. It's not quite up to Pokemon trading card games, kind of level of story mode, it's just moving across a map, but it's really, it's a really nice addition. And I love the fact that you actually get to collect the Pokemon and you get to choose which ones you want to take into the battles with you. Of course it also includes all the modes you'd expect, like a marathon mode, a time attack mode, it saves all your high scores. Really, really recommend this if you like Tetris Attack. If you like those sort of match three puzzle games, then you can't really go far wrong with Pokemon Puzzle Challenge. The second game we have here is called Flypole, or Flipple, and this one really takes me back. I actually didn't own the original cart of this, I actually played it on this, if the camera will focus. So I actually first played Flypole on this, which is like a, a fake 32 in one cart. And I, I actually remember really clearly, I used to have sleepovers at my nan's house quite often. When I was really, really young, I think like four or five, and we, we had this and I had my little Game Boy and I used to stay awake all night and play it next to the nightlight. And the game that I played the most on this particular game, there was another one that I played a load of Dragon Warrior monsters on, but the one I played the most was Flypole. I don't really know why, because I went back and played it recently and it's a very, very basic puzzle game. But I really enjoyed it at the time. And if you go back and play it now, you can appreciate the simplicity. It's a really, really simple game, but sometimes the simple games are the best. You just move a little paddle down the side of the screen or across the top and you just shoot different coloured blocks into the middle to try and get rid of all the blocks in the centre of the screen. I'm probably not doing a great job of explaining it, but hopefully the gameplay video over the top of this will do a better job than I am doing. So there's a second game on my list, Flypool. The third game I have here, this one's a really late release in the Game Boy's life. In fact, this game here came out after the Game Boy Advance was out. I only picked up the Game Boy Color version recently. I actually owned it on the GBA. Both games are more or less identical. This is one that I used to read about a lot back in uh, Action GBX magazine, if anyone remembers that. The Donkey Blocks games are so much fun. Again, simplicity is key, and this game is incredibly simple, but it can get incredibly complex at the same time. You play the entire game by just using the D-pad. And you move the blocks left and right, up and down, but the thing is, you move every single block on the screen at the same time. So you sort of have to use the level and the environment to move the blocks around, and you just have to match up the different colours and you get a bonus if you manage to make the right shape with the colours. It's a really simple game, but it's very, very charming the way that they designed it. There's really cute characters all the way throughout the game, so really recommend Donkey Blocks whether you pick it up on the Game Boy Colour or the Game Boy Fans. Two more games now, and if you're a more recent Nintendo fan, this series needs no introduction. There's hundreds of games, there's like seven or eight on the DS, there's probably the same amount again on the 3DS, and one's just been released on the Switch, and I do own most versions, including a Pokemon version and a Zelda version. Here's one of the original versions, of course I'm talking about Picross. In particular, Mario's Picross. This is the Japanese version, but I'm pretty sure the UK and American versions are exactly the same. It's exactly what you'd expect from a Picross game, so if you enjoy that sort of Sudoku style, crossword style puzzle games, obviously there's not really a strict time limit like there is with some of the other ones, so this one's more of a relaxing game to play. I really love the Picross games, as you can tell, I'm a huge fan, so playing it on the original Game Boy is just as good as playing it on any other system. The only downside to this is that although it's called Mario's Picross, it doesn't really have that much to do with Mario, the series. They're just mostly random pictures that you create, but even so, Picross is an amazing game no matter what console you play it on. And the final puzzle game that I'm going to mention in this video, obviously there's a lot more I could mention, but I'm trying to keep these videos short and sweet. We're going back 
to this 32 in one cart here, which is kind of a lie because there's only actually like eight games on it and then they sort of duplicate. The game I'm talking about here, Dr. Mario. Another favourite of mine, actually a favourite of my mum's as well. I, I have a really strong recollection of playing it on the Game Boy in the car on the way to holiday and we pulled over a service station or something and mum took the Game Boy and just played Dr. Mario for ages. It's a really great game if you love Tetris, if you love any sort of puzzle games where the things drop down from the top of the screen. It's a bit more involved than Tetris because you have to get rid of the different germs. I'm sure if you've heard of it by now you've probably seen it on the NES or the SNES but the Game Boy game is a great addition to it and it has that really catchy music as well. So thank you very much for watching another Retro Recommendations video. Like I said in the last episode, please let me know if there's any consoles or genres of games in particular that you'd like me to do a video about. Uh, leave a comment in the description and I'll do my best to make that video a reality. Don't forget to check me out on Patreon, I'll put the link in the description as well. Comment, rate and subscribe and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye!